beautiful people of the world welcome back to another what i eat in a day so in today's video i actually wanted to talk to you guys about how i was able to eat whatever i wanted during and after my weight loss journey how i overcame binging and how i build a healthy relationship with food and i got a lot of requests on this video so i figured why not let's make a video and let's just talk about it and just so you guys know i am only speaking from my personal experience i'm not stating facts this is just my perspective and hopefully some of these tips can be helpful for you guys during your fitness health weight loss journey as well before we get into it, I quickly want to point out that we do have a sponsorship from Thrive today, which I am so excited to share with you all because Thrive is a brand that can help you heal your gut through probiotics. Did you guys know that one in five Americans are struggling with gut health issues because of their diet? So for an example, a lot of the foods that we consume can cause bloating, it can interfere with our mood, immune system, skin irritation, and even interfere with our weight. And with Thrive, they do not only offer probiotics, but they are personalized to you based off of your gut and the way that you can treat it properly. So the way that it works is that you can go online and order a gut health test. The test will be shipped straight to your door with specific collection instructions. Then you can activate the kit and complete the test and then you return it. And then after that, you will get the results straight delivered to your phone or you can use the Thrive app to receive the digital results. After that, you will get a personalized food plan to help your healthy and bad bacteria you can look out what type of foods you should be staying away from, foods that you should be incorporating more to your diet, and it gives out a whole layout of pretty much what your gut looks like. After you have done that, you have the option to pick out a personal life probiotics to heal your gut with prescription. So if you guys are really interested in trying to find ways to incorporate a healthier gut, I would recommend that you guys check Thrive out. And be sure to visit trythrive.com slash lady, which is spelled L-A-D-Y. Thank you, Thrive, for sponsoring today's video. All right, so we are finally going to get back into the video. And I kind of want to take you guys way back from when I first started losing weight and how I had my outlook when I was losing weight and going on my entire journey. So what I've noticed this time losing weight is that I was actually being very minimal with my rules and my restriction. And I think with my restriction, I did not want to restrict any type of food groups. And my only thing that I was doing was tracking my calorie intake. And it's funny because... During my entire weight loss journey, I did not eat healthy 100% of the time. Even to this day now, I don't eat healthy 100% of the time. I don't want people on this channel to think that I eat super clean and super perfect with everything with my health. Because that's not true. Have you ever heard of that saying, when you want something that you can't have, you just want it even more? I almost feel like that's the same thing when it comes to food. I feel like oftentimes in the past, I would overly restrict myself and I would always feel guilty after which resulted me into binge eating ruining my diet afterwards you know feeling demotivated now something i've noticed that was different for me this time is that i actually listened to my cravings and my hunger a lot more than compared to how i ever have i think doing that has actually created me to not be in this rebellious mode where i need to start binging on everything because i've restricted so much and I've noticed going into my weight loss journey this time, I started to understand that living a healthy lifestyle is not something that I wanted to complete in months. No, this is something that's a long-term goal. And by creating that long-term goal and knowing that I want to be healthy for the rest of my life, that's something that's my ultimate goal, has actually helped me to feel less guilty when I would mess up, when I would go over my calorie limit, when I was eating too much junk food for a week, because I realized that the journey of being healthy is not going anywhere, because I know that if I mess up today, I can always call it a night, and I can always pick off where I left off the next morning. I can always get up every morning and improve myself, and always learn from my mistakes. Now, something that I want to mention is that when building a healthy relationship with food, and creating that balance for yourself is that you have to do things that work for you. I don't think that there's one textbook definition on how to live a healthy lifestyle and how you're supposed to exactly eat. I feel like that's where the intuitive eating comes in because think about it. There are some people out there that are vegan. They have many valid reasons why they do it and they're happy with it and it creates them a healthy balance for themselves. But does that mean that you have to go vegan? Does that mean that I have to go vegan in order to be healthy? No. 
I think there's multiple ways to live a healthy lifestyle and I think part of that is by finding out along the journey on how you can do things to incorporate a healthier balance for yourself and it's like doing things that makes you happy eating the food that you still love and that you don't have to entirely restrict during your weight loss journey or while you're maintaining weight or, or whatever stage that you're at because I think oftentimes when and I'm not shaming anybody for this but I do think that on the internet and diet culture for instance there's so many different roles and I'm pretty sure you guys know this but there's so many different things that you see like people telling you that you have to go on a keto diet you have to go on this diet you have to go on that diet in order to lose weight in order to be healthy in order to make your diet last long and i think a lot of the times it's almost impossible to not obsess with the idea of like if i don't do things a certain way that must mean that i'm failing and i'm i'm not eating properly and i'm messing up my diet and i think that can often cause us to restrict ourselves too much and create this fear that we can't eat certain food or guilting ourselves or or just causing that negative relationship with food i think part of that i was learning along the way like for example, I like to track my calories and still eat what I want because I have the freedom to eat what I want, but then I know how much I'm consuming in order for me to know how much I'm supposed to eat on a calorie deficit diet. And to this day now, I'm someone that needs to have that sort of control because in the past when I used to eat, I had literally no self-control. And I think counting calories for me, that helps me in that area because I need that but that doesn't mean that everybody has to count the calories so my point is that your entire journey with weight loss with you being healthy it's also finding out what works for you in your lifestyle what makes you happy because I think ultimately that will help you find a longer lasting healthier lifestyle for yourself on how you can maintain weight how you can be able to lose weight in a healthy way and so that's why I think being intuitive and doing things with work for you it's really important just remembering that even when you do mess up there's always another day for you to pick it up and start over and learn from whatever you messed up on like there's your journey is a lifelong journey and i think when you start seeing it as a lifelong journey of you constantly improving yourself constantly figuring out what you can do to be healthier and how to live a healthier lifestyle i think that's going to ultimately make you feel like you're not messing anything up so the key is not to guilt yourself and the key is really doing what works for you and finding that balance and being open-minded to many things many ways to live a healthy lifestyle not thinking that's just one way to live a healthy lifestyle and be able to learn in the process i think something that we often forget is that part of our weight loss journey part of you starting your new journey that's also a process for you to learn we're all a work in progress and that's why part of it when we're on our journey you have to learn about yourself that's how you build things more and more for yourself you're figuring out what's helping you you're figuring out what's not helping you that's how i think that you can really keep yourself going and you don't have to stress over that and just remember, you're on a lifelong journey, okay? This is a lifelong journey of you figuring yourself out and you figuring out what you can do to incorporate a healthy lifestyle and not guilting yourself when you mess up. We're all gonna mess up, girl. Like you, me, we're all gonna mess up. So you might as well keep going. And even when you do mess up, even if you go over your calorie intake, even if you start binging, just remember there's always a new day tomorrow. I'm gonna give you guys some homework. In this video, I want you guys to comment below or if you don't wanna comment below, put it in a journal or on a piece of paper, whatever, you can write this down. And ask yourself, what do you think creates a healthy balance in your lifestyle? What do you find a healthy balance? And be completely 100% honest and just keep writing a list, make a list if you have to. And then look at that list, look at your list and read over your list and see how you can incorporate with whether you're someone that's on a weight loss journey right now whether you're on your own personal health journey whatever it is see how you can incorporate that in your life right now and see what do you want your life to look like for the long term 
that is gonna be your guys' homework and that is pretty much where i'm gonna leave it off with today's video i hope this was helpful and if you guys enjoyed today's video please be sure to give it a thumbs up i just want to say thank you i appreciate each and every single one of you guys watching till the very end it means a lot to me and i'll see you guys in my next video bye